We know that having a sick or premature infant can be frightening and overwhelming, but our team of doctors, nurses, and specialists is here to ensure you and your baby receive the best care. To help you during this time, here is a quick overview of the NICU and what to expect. The Bryan Neonatal Intensive and Intermediate Units at Prisma Health Children's Hospital Upstate provide the highest level of medical care for premature and sick newborns. Because we are a level three perinatal regional center, we care for infants across the upstate and region. Our small baby unit provides specialized treatment for our tiniest infants. As part of the Children's Hospital, we have access to over 45 subspecialists who help diagnose and treat a variety of medical needs. When your baby is admitted to the NICU, you and your care partner will receive a purple bracelet. This bracelet allows you to enter the NICU anytime, day or night. There may be two people at your baby's bedside at a given time. However, if we need to do a sterile procedure, we will ask you to wait in our waiting area until the procedure is completed. Based on widespread illness in the community, we may change our visitation policy to help protect your baby. In times of concern, we also may ask parents to wear gowns and masks to add an additional layer of protection. Please do not visit if you have any signs or symptoms of a cold, flu, COVID-19, rash, or if you've been around anyone who is sick. To help prevent infection and keep your baby safe, everyone who enters the NICU must scrub up for two minutes using a medicated scrub brush and water. Scrub brushes are located at the main entrance sinks. We ask that jewelry be removed from the elbows up before beginning to wash your hands. Be sure to push your sleeves up, scrub below the elbows, and dry your hands well. You will find waterless hand gel at your baby's bedside and throughout the unit. This should be used before and after you touch your baby, personal items, or any equipment. Another way we keep your baby safe from germs is by placing all cell phones and devices in a clear bag. We ask that you keep your phone on vibrate to reduce sound at your baby's bedside. If you need to make a call, please step away from your baby's bedside. We encourage you to have earbuds when making video calls to help keep the noise down at your baby's bedside. The NICU is a scent-free unit. Premature and sick babies are sensitive to strong odors, so we ask that you do not wear perfume, cologne, or scented lotions. If you smoke, be sure to change your clothes before visiting. You will meet a lot of people while you are in the NICU. We have a team of neonatologists and neonatal nurse practitioners who will assess your baby's needs and determine your baby's treatment plan. Our providers are on site 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We are a teaching hospital, so you may also meet medical residents and students. Our nurses provide daily bedside care and work 12-hour shifts. They will provide you with regular updates and help you learn ways to be connected and involved. Our respiratory therapists will manage any respiratory needs your baby has, and our social workers and case managers will help make sure you have all the resources you need. You will also meet support staff, which include people like lactation consultants, developmental therapists such as speech, physical and occupational therapists, unit secretaries, and a patient family coordinator. As part of the Children's Hospital, we also have access to chaplain services, child life, and a comprehensive supportive care team who can provide additional support during your stay. It is very important to us that you feel comfortable with your baby's care and receive the information you need to care for your baby. 
Our medical team completes bedside rounds in the morning, which is a great time for you to be here, so you can listen to updates and ask questions. Our nursing team also conducts bedside shift reports, and parents are welcome during this time as well. Of course, you are welcome to call anytime you have questions or would like an update. However, if you call during bedside shift report or procedures, the nurse may ask you to call back. If you are waiting for test results, please be aware that MyChart, Prisma Health's electronic medical record, may send a notification to you before our team has been able to review the result. It is also important to us that your space feels comfortable. Please use the shelves at your bedside to place small stuffed animals, small personal signs, or board books. At the beginning of your stay, it may feel like there is not much you can do to help your baby, but your baby is always aware of your presence. Sometimes just being at the bedside is enough. Your voice is very comforting to your baby, so try reading or singing. This can also be a good time to document your baby's early days through journaling or photography. We have a beading program that allows you to document your baby's NICU stay through handmade beads and journaling. To help you feel involved in your baby's care, your bedside nurse will involve you in daily tasks. Feel free to ask your nurse if you can help take your baby's temperature, change a diaper, or help with bed changes. Providing breast milk is a great way to contribute to your baby's care. We have designated lactation consultants who can help you begin breast pumping. You can also talk to your baby's nurse about helping with colostrum swabbing and kangaroo care. Kangaroo care is a special practice that allows parents to hold their baby skin to skin even if they are very premature or on respiratory equipment. In the first days and week of a NICU admission, you will meet a lot of people and experience many emotions. It is normal to feel overwhelmed, helpless, and scared. Many families describe the NICU experience as a roller coaster where you have both ups and downs. You will most likely be exhausted. Getting adequate sleep and eating healthy are important ways to help you feel your best. In these early days, we are trying to learn about what your baby needs. Your baby may go through different tests to help us create a plan of care. This can feel overwhelming, but our goal is to answer your questions and provide the best medical care. As your baby grows and improves, your baby will move to our intermediate unit to receive the medical care they need in a less intensive environment. In the intermediate unit, you will actively help with feeding and daily tasks as we work to prepare you for taking your baby home. The same teams of doctors, nurse practitioners, and developmental therapy staff will care for your baby in the intermediate unit as they did in the intensive unit. Having a baby in the NICU can be hard on you and your family, but we are here to help you. There are local and national resources that we can share to help you care for yourself and your new baby. If you are interested in obtaining more support or resources, let your baby's nurse or a team member know. Also, know that it is okay to ask friends and family to help with tasks at home, such as children, meals, or transportation. Often they want to help, but are not sure what's needed, so lean on them for assistance. If there is anything we can do to make your stay easier, please let us know. Congratulations on your new baby, and thank you for allowing us to participate in your baby's care during this special time. <laughs>